Good morning everybody, hope you're all okay. Merry Christmas and I hope you all have a good new year. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting this channel and subscribing and I thought I'd give a little bit of look back to you all and uh, perhaps give you uh, some heads up on some other channels that you might want to check out and give them some love too. So the first one I want to mention is Stuart at the Peak District Viking, that's the name of his channel. He does a lot of walks around the Peak District area. I originally came from Derbyshire in the Peak District, so for that reason his channel interested me. He also gets into a lot of the local history. His channel's a lot of fun, very informative, he has a really good style of presenting, and I think that you would really enjoy that. Uh, the next one I want to give a shout to is a guy called Patrick at the Solitary Rambler. Again, he does a lot of walks around the Peak District because he's based near Matlock. And again, his videos, they're a little bit more um, introspective rather than um, in entertaining in that way. But again, he does a lot of good stuff. He also branches out and does a lot of walks around not just the Peak District, but also places like the Malvern Hills, Brecon Beacons, Welsh Mountains and so on. So again, Solitary Rambler. Next channel I want to give a shout to is my friend Jason. Uh, otherwise known as Boaties World. Again, he's based in Derbyshire near Chesterfield. Um, this is more car related. I'm a big car guy. Um, his channel's an awful lot of fun. He posts on all sorts of different things. Um, cookery, cars, journeys out, trips and all sorts of things. Uh, he also does a live stream every night apart from on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays uh, which is an awful lot of fun and um, can get a little bit rowdy but that's my sense of humour anyway. So yes, Boaties World. His partner in crime is Captain Mustard. Um, again, I will post a link for him. He does an awful lot of repairs on Rover cars, Austin Rovers, British Leyland and so on. So yeah, Captain Mustard. Uh, next one I want to mention is my friend Joseph at Boyd Vehicle Consulting. We don't talk about diesels on this channel. Um, again, car based, he is a little bit more factual than Boaty and Captain Mustard, but again, he's a good guy and uh, show him a little love. Again, occasionally he does a live stream and his partner in crime is the Rubbish Mechanic. Uh, next one I want to mention is on this side of the pond in America is Mikey Strip Threads. Again, he does a lot of restorations and older cars. He's big into Hillman Avengers or Plymouth Crickets as they're known on this side of the, of the pond. Um, very good guy. And is again, he presents in a really informative, really simple way. Next one is hooked on classics, Simone. She's got three or four cars, one of which is her Cortina. Uh, she has a Mark III Cortina, which she's working on. Again, really, really good. Next one is Simon at Smashing Pistons, same deal, he's got a lot of stuff on Rovers and uh, he has a quiz on a Monday afternoon, so hopefully if you see this before his quiz comes out this afternoon then hopefully you'll be able to uh, get involved with that. Also want to mention my friend Kevin at Seagulls Gather, he does book reviews and occasionally the odd film review, I've worked with him, he's a wonderful guy, very intelligent, very sharp. Um, his book reviews, he gets really into the nitty gritty of how a story is constructed and how it would be best to go forward if the book's not very good and all that sort of stuff but on the flip side. He also praises a really good novel and uh, I thoroughly recommend him and his work. Um, last but not least, I want to mention the Sharp Holmes podcast. They focus on Jeremy Brett especially. Two guys, Gus and Luke. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes, as you've seen from one of my other videos, and they really get into breaking down the episodes themselves and actually talking to the people who are involved in making it and appeared in it. And again, I think that you should give them a little love. So I will leave this there. Have a really good Christmas and a great new year wherever you are. Uh, some exciting news from this channel coming in the new year, um, which hopefully you'll enjoy. I will never ever set up a Patreon or anything like that, but hopefully if you see what I'm going to present to you in the new year, then hopefully you will help get behind this uh, exciting event and uh, hopefully moving forward we should have some more exciting events. So thank you very much, have a great Christmas and new year, and uh, see you on the other side. Ta-da!